Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Girl, guess what? If you're not a subscriber, you're not a Lola. No, I'm just kidding. If you want to be a Lola, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're following me on MissArenitySmithBabies.com and also on my Instagram. If you want to see lots of pictures of my babies, my Instagram is MissArenitySmith. Girl, what? Yes, hunty. Yes. <laughs> yes, I had to say all that. But anyway, the other thing that I have not been telling y'all to do is drop down in that comment section. Girl, that's where the TV at. No, I'm just kidding. You know, but look in the description box and find the link that says Chatterbox. Make sure you join to be a member. The Chatterbox is $1.99 to join. The perks are we do do at least one live stream a month where we can interact live, talk, hang out, chill, whatever. I tell you what I'm thinking, what's going on, blah, 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 blah. Also, um, I do try to always give a slight discount on the babies if you're a part of the Chatterbox. Or I try, but it don't always happen. I try to also post there first and say this baby is going to be up for sale. But that don't always happen. But the main thing, the real part is that we do live streams at least once a month, even when I can't do it on the Gym Pop, which is my general channel, which is what you're watching right now. So the baby that you see in this video is Baby Major. Baby Major is Sam by Gutter and Legler, sculpted by Gutler Legler, painted by me. And I am gonna get him changed because I want to see him with this little hat on. <laughs> yes, I want to see him with this little hat on for real though. But he is like my most super prized baby in my nursery to date right now. I love him. Sorry, one of my babies is getting sunlight and I gotta move him. All right. Um, and I love him like crazy. Um, I tend to fall in love with babies that I paint a lot. I tend to fall in love with my collection a lot. I tend to say, this is my baby. I am never letting it go. And it just gets on people's nerves. I know sometimes it make your whole soul sick. But that's just what I do. Because I am an emotional creature and I love these babies. And so I love them until I don't love them no more. Or I love them until I want something else new. And I'm like, uh... You know, I really was loving you, but uh, 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 I want this. So I'm sorry, baby, but you gotta go. So that is my thing. That is what I do. And you guys gonna have to let me have that, okay? And I'll let you have that. <laughs> you know, I'll let you have your thing and you, I have mine. And I always tell people, well, if you love them so much and you don't want to see them go, think about it. You can have them in your own collection because if they're up for sale and you really, really are so upset about not being able to see them anymore, just buy it. You know what I mean? So I know that sounds like snooty. It sounds arrogant. It sounds like sometimes it sounds like she got a whole attitude. Who does she think she is? You know, I don't like her. Da, 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 da. You might have all these different things, but guess what? At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's the truth. If you want it, you can buy it when these people put their babies up for sale. So the other day you saw a video and I was talking about in between babies and buying all these babies. And then you realize these are not the ones. These are not ones that you love. These are the ones that you like. And I think we as collectors um, tend to feel a little bit guilty selling babies from our favorite artists or whatever the case may be. We feel like it might be like a reflection of, oh, I don't like their work or, oh, she's gonna be upset. She's gonna think I didn't like her work or I didn't. And then maybe you didn't, girl, what? That's your opinion, you know? Or maybe it wasn't the baby or that I didn't like her paint style on this one. Okay, this, I mean, it, it happens. I mean, that's why collectors collect from variety of artists and variety of sculptors, I mean, it's your money. At the end of the day, you know, if I have an opportunity of bringing home a baby that I truly love versus keeping a baby that's mediocre in my love scale, <laughs> I'm not going to be holding on to Miss Mediocre. Bye, Miss Mediocre. Girl, I'm going for the goat. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Or 
Cause your your mediocre may be the goat for somebody else, and you holding they goat. Well, shame on you. Why you holding they goat? Like why you bad? Give it back. Get 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 them they goat. You know what I mean? Like you sitting there holding somebody else's dream, baby, because you you and your feelings, and you worry about what the next man got to say about you. That's the problem. Stop worrying about these people and what they got to say about you. This is your money, your collection. Do what you want to do. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this baby changed. Cause see y'all, y'all y'all be talking so much. Y'all be losing point of what y'all supposed to be doing. Now let's see. Oh. And as y'all know, I told y'all I am a pamper fanatic. Another reason why I wanted to change him is because I wanted to put him on a diaper. <laughs> I got a new point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Boom. Yes, God. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Newborning. Yes, honey. Let's do them trains on that track. Choo-choo. Come on, ride that train. Come ride it, choo choo. Come on, ride that train. It's the choo choo train. Okay, baby. So I don't know why I kept this boy on this onesie up under here. I don't usually do that, but I guess I was trying to be fashionable. Because, you know, y'all be talking about I ain't got no taste and stuff. So I be trying to surprise y'all with, you know, look what I did <laughs> type thing. But no, um, but yeah, sometimes babies are not meant to stay in your collection. Sometimes you are holding somebody's dream baby and you don't even know it. Sometimes you just feel like you you just got to let it go. Like, you know. So, you know, I like I said, and I say this because um, I just saw Micah and I love Micah. Micah at, at one point really touched me in a way to where I actually cried. Like, he made me think about preemies, think about my you know my grandbabies that were born and all this and stuff and he just it was just an emotional thing at that time um i didn't make it up i didn't um fake the story in that moment that's how i felt and i thought micah would be a baby that I would not let it go um and I did. I, I, let, I said I was going to put him up for sale. And then I take him down. And then I said I was going to put him up for sale. And then I took him down. Then I said I was going to put him up for sale. And then I took him down. This is ball baby child. Let me just show you. Oh, and by the way, I know I said in the video that um, Aspen and Abby head is probably about the size of um, Sam. But they heads are a little bit bigger. And it's a different shape. So, um, and maybe that's why I look different. But, yeah. So, yeah, but. Look at him, man. He just so oh, I love this baby. When I tell y'all, he'll be just laying here. He'll just be laying here, and I'll be like, just keep walking by the crib. Oh my God, I love him. He actually just came out of my room though, but some of my babies be in my room. But I like to pose him and have him just laying here. And that's another thing, you know. A lot of times people act like you got to like like some babies. Like people be like, do you do you really um? still love Phoebe because you don't really show her that much. Some babies I don't have to show that much like because I don't collect for y'all. I know I, I, I know y'all might not like that but I don't collect for y'all. I like y'all and all that <laughs> but uh yeah honey y'all ain't giving me mm -mm, no I y'all ain't giving me the money to pay for these babies so I don't buy them for y'all like I buy them for me so sometimes I just enjoy them in private like sometimes I might train her sometimes I might not sometimes I pick up I hold her Sitting down. Sometimes I don't even hold her. Like, sometimes it be weeks and weeks. I don't even touch that baby. Like, I just like looking at her. I want to look at her over there. I be like, ooh, her so cruel. Oh, my goodness. Like, I did a little, uh, 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 you know, type thing. Like, I just, you know, I just want to see them. Like, look so real. Like, oh, my gosh, you know. Like, oh, my God, I did that. I did that, you know. So, yeah. So, and, uh, and somebody asked me, do I bond with the babies that I make? Absolutely. I bond with them. Sometimes I bond with them more than I bond with some of my best babies because it's like I I made them. I went through the whole process with them. So even if they're not the best baby, I sometimes I still bond with them because of my experience of painting. Look at you with your trains. You're so true. He got his look. Look at his look trains. Look at set. Come on, ride that train. Come ride it, choo choo. All right. Um, I don't really know what to put him on with that though. Like, 
I was like, because this hat, I just want to put him on this hat. But he ain't have nothing to match this hat. Let me see what you look like. Mm. Actually, I don't went through all that. And I really don't really know that I like him in this hat at all. <laughs> what a worse. I'm sorry, guys. I should have. I should have had a backup plan, but I just thought he would definitely look cute in his hat. But I guess the hat is too big. That's the problem. Mm. Well, Lord, sometimes you win, sometimes you get out. At least let me get the onesie right. Mm -mm. I might have to put him back on his look. I mean, he look good in gray. I mean, I could just put him on this. Right? But he just... It just ain't doing it for me. I guess I'm just. I really don't like him. And oh my gosh, I really liked him in this blue. Like he was so cool in the blue. Him was so cool in the blue. I'm gonna put him back in the blue. Oh, I know y'all mad at me, child. Can I just put it back in the blue? Can y'all forgive me if I just put it back in the blue? I just don't really. He was so special in that blue. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in the gray just so y'all shut up so y'all can leave me alone. What about this? Not really. It ain't really. So I don't know, maybe this one over that one. Cause yeah, I'm gonna give him this one. I'm gonna put him on this one. But I know y'all probably like, oh, girl, it ain't that serious. It ain't nothing really all that cute. They just caught the little ones. Because I know y'all be liking that old bushy, boutique-like stuff. But, child, we have to get it where we can get it. I like my little cheap little cottas. Y'all don't be mad at me. Okay, so. Mm, so, I guess he gonna just wear this just for now. Until I find out what I want to put him in. Because he cannot just lay here. And not be in something extremely crude. He is so far down the list from getting his hair rooted y'all. Oh my god I hate it. Because um. After the two prototypes. Then I think I'm going to say Maggie. Because I want to see her with hair. I'm really just like. Wanting to. Like have a whole bunch of my babies rooted in my personal collection because i'm sick of just having all ball babies i don't mind having some ball babies like lily grace will probably always be bald um i'm probably gonna have like a baby or two that's gonna always be bald but i don't know like i want to have some babies with hair but yeah some of my bigger babies, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get Maggie rooted because she really need him. I'm gonna get her done next, and then I'll start doing some of the ones. Cause I'm gonna root my own silicone. Oof, child, that's gonna be a lot. But I'm gonna root my own silicone. So I'm just trying to get it together. Oh, he just so cruel. I don't care. Like it won't matter what he will, y'all. Oh my gosh. But anyway, what was I saying, child? I don't know if I finished my my topic basically some babies is not meant to stay in your collection so don't feel bad if you decide that you know look look look, look, look at this baby um and he has like very light baby bump, milk bumps but you can't see them because you know i know everybody gotta have a milk bump now child y'all also into that so deeply i don't really care for him a whole lot as much it's not a big thing for me, but I have put them on a couple babies, but not all my babies have milk bumps because I don't really like them like that. They're not a big, it's not a big to do for me. I like them when they're done right. Um, but um, even then, it's like it's not something that I have to have. But what I was saying is like some babies, you got to let them go. You got to share off them babies so you could get the baby that you really, really want sometimes. Sometimes just holding on to stuff just because you just don't want to be that person that sell your babies. Or you don't want to be labeled as this type of baby person or this type of collector. And you hold on to babies. That's just not where it's at. You got to do what's going to work for you. 
and you know maybe look at look at look at this <laughs> i just realized how close they is in color though i didn't i didn't really realize that him and phoenix was so close in color until now but they really is popping like that um anyway but yeah so that's that's that so um so let's let it go don't hang on to it if you don't like the baby no more just let it go sell it to somebody else you know and stuff like that you know your in-between babies okay you've seen them you've had the experience you don't want it no more we know you don't want it no more we know you don't really like it no more stop lying to yourself or maybe you get a baby in a and you just really just didn't like it from the day one but you tried you forced you tried to force you tried to force a bond and it just wasn't there it just wasn't working you know so <laughs> so you just gotta let it go just let it go let it go and get the baby that you really want anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed major don't forget to give this video a thumbs up make sure you share it let all your girlfriends know that this is where it's at it's on mr ringley smith channel y'all okay bye guys <laughs>